Hello, hello. I am Tanya with Free Range Cottage and I am here at At Home and today I'm going to take you shopping for some home decor. I'm slowly bringing spring into the house, but then we're going to go back to my house, Free Range Cottage, and I'm going to show you some ways that I'm styling and bringing just a little bit of subtle spring in. I'm taking my time and it'll be a mix of new and of course we love our vintage or our secondhand finds. So here at Free Range Cottage, we're all about affordable home decor, DIYs, wardrobe, you name it. It's all about making that dollar stretch, but doing it with style, right? Okay, so as soon as we get in the door here, there are already some great home decor pieces right at the front and love these little brass pieces for a shelf or tabletop end table this little blue glass is catching my eye made in india it's really pretty and it's got a lid on it which normally you would see this just as a vase and i just love that for a bathroom to hold your cotton balls or something like that. I love that. All these pastels are really catching my eye. Soft colors. Baskets with lids are always a great find in my book. I use a lot of those. And I definitely store things in them, being short on storage in an older home. Around the corner was this great chinoiserie little container. I love that it's square and has that flat top. Different kind of shape than the ginger jar. And it looks like an anthro dupe mirror, which I absolutely love. And if you're looking for Easter or spring decor, there's plenty to choose from here. I don't usually get a lot of that because I don't like to store things, but I did notice these big bunnies would be really cute by a front door or in an entryway. They would definitely make a statement and not too much to store. Very pretty wreath here. The colors are just beautiful and that would take you all the way through the spring in summer if you wanted to really and these rattan or wicker little bunnies really caught my eye thought they were so unusual and my neutral loving heart would love these and really again i think those could go all the way through the spring even into summer because they're just neutral and subtle and he is risen indeed. Over on the other side, I'm drawn again to some little chinoiserie containers. This would be great for Q-tips on your counter or dressing table, or to stow a little jewelry or some little tea packets. So many uses for those pretty little containers. And why not make your everyday use items beautiful? That's my favorite way to decorate is with things that I actually am going to use. And it's not just there to be pretty, but it has a use and we just enjoy it each day. The blue and the greens over here are really gorgeous pastels. I love that color palette. I like it all the way through the summer, even though we'll see a lot more brights coming in during the summer. Those don't appeal to me as much usually, unless I'm literally at the beach. And I'm kind of on the lookout for a tray. This one is really pretty, this mother of pearl tray. And I love how they have everything categorized in colors. 
much like home goods so you can kind of go to what your palette is and see what's there and I thought this little oil painting was really cute it's not just a print it does have paint on it and it was only seven dollars and there were only a couple left I thought that was a nice little piece for a bathroom or somewhere that would be cute with a small little piece of artwork like that or in a gallery wall added in more trays and you can see there's a lot of amber and yellow along here and I guess there's a Ty Pennington line they have several different designers some of them i recognize some i did not but they have different lines here at at home and when they call it the superstore it is not a joke i'm going to show you just how big this place is if you've not been in one of course you can always shop online which is more and more a favorite to me is to be able to get it just delivered to my door so this is Crosby Street. Really liked those brass boxes. Again, they could stash a lot of things in a beautiful way. I actually should have grabbed one of those for my coffee table. We could put remotes and different things in there that you don't necessarily want to look at, but you do want to know where they're at. And this is a little bit more of a modern line here, but I liked some of the dark colors. And who's this guy? He joined me on his lunch break and just hung out with me. We've been best friends for almost 36 years now. The anniversary of our first date's coming up. And I loved these little ruffle containers. I'm seeing a lot of scallops and ruffles here. And they're a lot of fun. This would be a great planter or to hold your wooden spoons, utensils in your kitchen. A lot of different uses for a cute little vessel like that with all the ruffly edge. And of course in a creamy white, gorgeous. This big oversized vase vase however you like to say it was so pretty hand painted in turkey a little bit more pricey a little bit more of an investment but a very classic showstopper kind of piece and here's our bright and mustard yellows and the lamp section which goes on and on and on there's like three aisles like this I thought these looked very mid-century. If you had that going on, that would work really well. And they look like something you may have gotten at an estate sale. Great pottery piece. But what I really am impressed by are the lampshades. These wicker lampshades aren't always easy to find. I'm always looking for those when I'm thrifting. I have found a couple but sometimes you need a matching pair and that's very hard to find. And these I loved with this little block print on there, adding so much texture and character. So if you have your vintage lamps that you found out and about, but they use, a lot of times they need a new shade. So this is a great place to look. Really loved this skinny little brass lamp. I thought on a kitchen counter, or even bedside or on a buffet just anywhere that you need a great little light that doesn't take up too much space absolutely loved those and there was a scallop desk lamp there which I thought I got pictures of but I didn't but I will definitely link in and put pictures in my LTK this is the recycled glass made in Mexico and we have some of that and I'm absolutely love and enjoy using it it's a little bit thicker and heavy the colors on it are fantastic and we used to only be able to get it when we would go to the markets down in Mexico when we would visit family in Texas and if we broke it we'd be so sad because we couldn't replace it and now here it is 
and more scallops over in the kitchen area. These are uh, chargers. They had even cutting boards that had that scalloped edge. And look what I found here. Great hem stitch napkins. I believe these were cotton and not linen, but they came in a lot of different colors. Great price for eight of them. And I especially really loved this khaki and this cream color. And then they have a little bit brighter white. And then of course, some colors to go with any kind of table you wanna set up. Then over to the marble, all of the great marble pieces. This was a beautiful section. It was called Bistro, I believe. And all of this was just heavy, really nice marble. And I think that just elevates a kitchen. There were um, Lazy Susans that you could put on top of your island or anywhere. And this was a great little piece again to hold salt or again, I would like to use that on my dressing table. Beautiful little vintage style floral prints in a gold frame. They're made to look old and vintage, could be an estate sale find, right? And I love that lamb's ear. These were some chairs I always mosey over to the furniture section. A classic Chesterfield can go anywhere, right? And I do love the wishbone chairs, and that was a decent price. These were in sets of two. And then I almost dropped to my knees when I saw these. Just so gorgeous. I could see these in a sunroom or a dining room, just very garden inspired. I would probably switch out the cushion on that, but I believe it comes with it, which is nice. You could either recover it or switch it out, but those were a really, really pretty find. Definitely would fit in our cottage vibe. And then I wandered over to the pillows and there were some really good selections over there. This is Found in Fable, I believe. And they had some real cute pil pillows. And then if you did want to add in some color, this was a soft green and I love that big button on there. I remember when those were only in Pottery Barn, but now you can find them around. And I think this was that Found in Fable again. I just loved the neutrals in that. And this was a little bit more modern, but I think really fun just to add a touch of whimsy. This uh, rug, the pictures don't even do it justice. They were out of it. I really wanna get the runner in this. And then they had a gorgeous one that had some pink in it. That's beautiful for spring. And now let's do some styling. I used new and old and I'll show you what I got from at home. First, I'm gonna start here in my dining room. You may have seen a lot of this recently, but I added this bamboo tray that I've had for ages that I had picked up at an estate sale. And I just love grouping things on trays. It makes it feel a lot more um, organized to me and just love the layering. And I added these little chairs that we had bought I bought those off Facebook Marketplace and we drove and drove for those. But they're kind of petite and we put wheels on them. And so they're really nice over here by the dining table if we need to just grab them and need extra seating. They do work with the dining table. They're a little bit low. That's why I put that big pillow there with it. You could sit on that big pillow if you needed to. But just great to have a little extra seating. The hutch is pretty much the same. I added some grandkid pictures and I added this little uh, painting that I had in my collection. I took the frame off of it just to look at, make it look more sort of wabi-sabi, relaxed. And I added more of those koi fish dishes in to pull more blue. And we're gonna start collecting our nature finds and hopefully gonna do some nature journals with my grandkids where we 
press our flowers in there and do our sketching and take our walks. Hoping to do some of that in the spring. And there's the bunny boy. And over to the living room. Uh, we're not burning a lot of fire, so I added in a few things over here in front of the fireplace. This basket was an estate sale find. I think I paid 20, but I just love the patina and the age on this. It's just a gorgeous piece. And I keep it in my living room and put some of our favorite throws in there. I just picked these up off of Facebook Marketplace. They're either little geese or little ducks. I don't know, tell me in the comments what you think they are. But I thought they were so cute for spring. And they mix with my neutrals. And so it's just a neutral display right now. I'm not adding a ton of color yet. So over to the kitchen on my open shelving, how I styled that. I did get some real touch um, tulips there. I'm real picky, like I've said before, with the artificials, but I really like the real touch ones. We have a small collection of mortar and pestle, which we use. It's great. We can grab them off the shelf, use them, wash them, put them back. Again, beautiful items that are used daily, well, almost daily. And this vase was a thrifted at an estate sale. And there are those tulips in there until I start getting some fresh greenery. I like to bring herb bundles in and they scent the room and they grow so easily outside. So just a subtle touch of the pink and green is enough to cheer me up in the spring. And this is the longer shelf over by our sink and the window. And I'll show you what I have on there. Starting at the one end is this gorgeous amber glass. Those are those Mexican glasses. These are milk glass canisters that I bought for a dollar a piece at a sort of antique market, flea market. And we've had those for quite a few years. We put our loose leaf tea in some of them and there's a couple in the back that we put our coffee beans in and they do stay sealed so they keep it all really nice some pitchers that we use regularly for iced tea some thrifted mixing bowls right next to my fiesta ware which i bought new but that's our daily use dishes and then i found these little japanese cherry blossom bowls i've had those for a couple of years i thrifted those and it's just that subtle touch of pink. That line drawing picture back there was from Walmart. And the head planter with more of my tulips, just sort of loosely arranged. They even kind of feel real. Then I grabbed some of our cookbooks and keeping on theme with the colors, sort of the ambers and the browns and the soft pink. And we happen to have several that worked here. And it just gets me in the mood to come in here and enjoy the kitchen. We've got the espresso machine right under there. So that's what I get to look at when I'm making my morning coffee. And I like it that the colors are very subtle because it can be overwhelming to me having too much stuff on these shelves. I know it's a lot, but since they're all similar shades, it's not as cluttery feeling to me. And then a couple of thrifted urns that I had gotten. I've had wooden spoons in those too. Now back to my living room, I'm going to do my coffee table and I'm gonna show you what I got. At, at home, I got this really big tray. And of course, I have my buddies there that are always wanting to know what I'm doing. So this is a great place to put some of my vintage books and new ones that I have enjoy. And just a single tulip, just to pull a little bit of pink in there. Very subtle, but I leave 
a lot of room on my coffee table because we use it. We put our coffee and things on there. Then I found this throw. You guys, this throw is such a good price and it feels like a baby kitten or something. It's just almost irresistible and they had several colors. So I know we'll be using that quite a bit in the spring. So just adding in texture and Koji's looking around and trying to decide if he likes it or not. He's always got to check out the new things in the room. So just simple and I think he approves. Thanks so much for watching you guys and don't forget to check out my links in the description below and thanks for coming with me and I will see you again very soon.